You never know where or when inspiration will strike. Welcome back to my channel, and as always, thanks to my subscribers. Last September, I was driving through Idaho Springs, Colorado, and I stopped for breakfast at a place called the Main Street Restaurant. Despite its name, the restaurant is located at 1518 Minor Street in Idaho Springs. When I sat down in my booth, I spotted this photograph hanging on the wall. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to model this building for my layout. It has exactly the small western town Main Street feel that I look for in my city structures. I was especially attracted to the fancy brickwork along the building cornice. So I snapped this photo with my phone, which I hope excuses the poor quality. And when I left the restaurant, I took several more photos of the building's exterior. But when I got home and studied the photos, I noticed something. The facade of the building in the photo does not match the facade of the building today. Either I ate in a different building, or the building facade has been replaced since the old photo was taken. To resolve this, I found a 1907 sandboard map of Idaho Springs. Examining the map, I found a building labeled Flower and Feed at 1518 Minor Street. This led me to believe that the photo showed the original facade and the current facade was not original to the building. Examining the photo more closely, I saw that the building on the right seems a little shorter than the plumber store, but the brick cornice looks very much the same. Comparing this to the current photo, this is consistent with the building at 1520 Minor Street. Finally, the building to the left of the plumber building has at least one recessed brick panel above the windows, similar to the plumber store. But looking at the current photo, none of the three storefronts with the similar brick cornices have these recessed panels. I am therefore fairly confident that the brick facades on both 1514 and 1518 Minor Street have been replaced. So what's the point of all this? Obviously, I plan to scratch build this building over the next few months. I haven't decided yet whether to build just 1518 Minor Street or one or more buildings on either side, but I will certainly model the original facade because that is what first drew me to this building. But the title of this video mentions a challenge, so here it is. I am inviting any of my interested viewers to build their own version of the Henry Plummer and Company building. To assist you, I will post this photograph online and I'll provide links to that photo and to the Sanborn map in the description below this video. You may model the building as it exists today or as it existed in 1907. You may model just the plumber storefront, or you may model it with buildings on either side. You should, of course, build the model in your own scale, and you may model the entire building, or a low-relief building, or just a building flat, depending on the needs of your layout. You may use any material you like, wood, styrene, cardstock, even 3D printed materials. You may start with a suitable kit or kits and modify as necessary. If you find a kit that requires no modification at all, that's great. In short, materials, methods, scale, all of these are unimportant. What is important is that you find a project that excites you enough to build it. If you decide to undertake this challenge, I would love to see photos or videos of your work. You can send me an email or you can post your videos to your own YouTube channel. But please let me know how I can see your work. If it seems appropriate, I will post a video featuring all of the photos I receive. Of course, when my version is complete, I will post a video describing my methods and showing my results. Hopefully, we'll all be surprised at how many different ways there are to approach this project and at the quality of the results. There is no deadline to this challenge. I will likely not start work on my own model for several weeks or even months. But even if you're seeing this video years from now, it's 2024, feel free to take up the challenge and post your results. Best of luck, and I hope to hear from many of you. I love to read your comments and to respond to your questions, so please post them in the comments section below. If you want to see more videos of this type, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.